Something new can be scary, but fear is just excitement without the breath. You're strong. Have faith. Do one small thing to move yourself out of starting and into action. Be empowered. Do anything to move the needle forward. You're no longer starting or a beginner. You're doing it. Keep moving. This means a whole lot for me. I'm a six-month survivor myself, and, it, and when I found Joan and her organization, it, it just was like um, finding a light in a dark tunnel. In 2008, after enduring unusual symptoms for six months and being misdiagnosed by nine different doctors, which unfortunately often is the case, Joan Wiley finally received a diagnosis, stage four ovarian cancer. I never imagined it could happen to anybody I knew. I never imagined that it would happen to my own grandma. I was in the waiting room after, during the surgery. Uh, I was actually reading the book. Uh, he came out and had me go into the hallway. Uh, at that time, he was crying. I get a little emotional. It's so critically important that during this process, we don't lose sight of the patient. It's not the cancer we're treating, it's the patient. Undaunted and at age 63, Joan lifted herself up and knew without question that God must have a purpose. Her mission had begun and she was on the move. Chemotherapy is an extremely difficult time for all women facing this disease, as well as their family, friends, and caregivers. I remember I was scared. I was just so like shocked with the experience. I didn't know it was gonna happen. But what actually came of it, I was amazed. It was here a 5013C grassroots organization began. The nine girls asked for cure for ovarian cancer, also known as NGA, was set in motion and named in honor of Joan's nine female family counterparts, daughters and granddaughters. The mission had begun. The force behind NGA and this mission began with a small but mighty group of dedicated volunteers of men and women. This group immediately became aware of the importance of offering not only a one-on-one -on -one patient outreach program, but also the need to provide emotional support to include love, hope, and sisterhood, which is so critical to the emotional recovery of every cancer survivor. Cancer patients and family members need resources like you. Like Nine Girls Ask for a Cure for Ovarian Cancer, so they can have a sense of hope and believe in miracles. Always positive and compassionate through all stages of treatment and the journey, and with an outpouring of giving, NGA began to grow. Members in the organization began presentations at various locations and distributing valuable informational materials. In addition, they assembled beautiful comfort bags filled with items a woman needs while going through chemotherapy. These bags have been lovingly provided to thousands of women. With awareness being provided to women, it was now realized there was a huge need to raising awareness amongst physicians. And it was here the I Can, I Celebrate Awareness Now program began to provide the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer, not only to women, but physicians as well. As the I Can program moved forward, so did fundraising events and research. Funds raised were directed towards research and equipment. Numerous notable researchers and physicians continue their ongoing work on ovarian cancer research and currently are in the process of conducting highly important research regarding clinical trials. Upon meeting Dr. David Schlepper, PhD, ovarian cancer researcher with UCSD Moore's Cancer Center, a much needed piece of lab equipment was provided to him to escalate his work on a project directed towards reoccurrence. Over the last eight years, NGA has purchased a total of nine pieces of valuable research equipment. An additional researcher with UCSD, the brilliant Dr. Dwayne Stupak, PhD, continues to advance his work on a clinical trial 
ACT, which is a cocktail similar to the treatment used for HIV. Nine Girls Ask also funded a fellowship for Dr. Joe Delaney, who works very closely with Dr. Stupak. Two other trials were funded at the Scripps Research Institute involving tumor cell formation and genomics. Nine Girls Ask for Cure for Ovarian Cancer is extremely proud to say they have donated approximately $1 million for research and equipment. We are moving the needle. The original goal of patient outreach has expanded to three, one-on-one -on -one patient outreach, raising awareness through the ICANN program, and raising funds for research. These goals are up and running and achieving huge success. Seeing the potential in this much needed research and with the fundraising efforts by the hard work and dedication of men, women, members, and volunteers, NGA is proud to fully fund extremely critical phase one and two clinical trials. As a result of approximately 25 years and the efforts by the incredible lead researcher, Dr. David Schlepfer, at UCSD Moore's Cancer Center Research Department, assisted by Dr. Lisa Bean, and lead physician, respected gynecological oncologist, Dr. Michael McHale, MD. We are excited to announce the Rocket Trial, designed to resensitize carboplatin-resistant ovarian cancer with kinase PAC inhibitor. It is a vision that this will hopefully change the outcome of women facing the challenges of reoccurrence. Also, all participants in the ROCKIF trial will be administered a potential life-saving drug combination. Women will now have hope to help fight reoccurrence. We're doing it. The needle is moving. Today is just the start. Donate and support. Do one small thing to move yourself out of starting and into 